So how has it been being in Vegas as opposed to out on the East Coast? Really interesting when we decided to move it to Vegas. Um, it was a bit of a gamble, no pun intended, but it turned out to be kind of adding an extra character to the show, which I wasn't anticipating. Because A, you have all of the tourists out there that are excited to see a show, and they're used to Vegas shows, kind of like here in Broadway. And so you get this excitement, but then also that gambler's mentality, and, and you'll you know inevitably have contestants say, hey, we're in Vegas, let's roll the dice. So it definitely amped up the game a lot, and I wasn't expecting that. And there's been a lot of talk of the fact that a hundred million dollars will have been given away right. at this point, and there's a big show in November coming up. So I don't know if you can say who's coming back or what fans can, of the show can expect right. to see. This is our one hundred million dollar season, and and that means we have given away over the last seventeen years over a hundred million dollars. It is astounding when you think about a game show giving away that much money. And so we're celebrating this year and it, it really culminates in November with this big week long special. We kind of reach back into the archives and show some of our famous and favorite contestants from, from back in the day. And it, and it all culminates with one of those favorites coming back on the Friday of that week and playing for a million dollars again. And it was fun to see those old clips, the old hosts that have been there before me and because the history is rich with this show and what's happened. And so uh, to carry on that tradition and be a part of it is pretty awesome. So we've got um, some celebrity weeks coming up. Right. Um, let's see, Shark Tank. So can you tell us a little bit about that week? We have several celebrity weeks and these are fun because A, we're raising money for charity most of the time. Um, and you know, Shark Tank week, I'm a big fan of Shark Tank here on ABC and, and to bring some of the sharks out of their arena and bring them into mine and kind of put the pressure on them it, it was fun. It was fun to hear their stories and, and to watch their, I guess, business acumen be put to the test in a, in a different way. Very bright, very intelligent, and no surprise to anybody, they all do really well, which is great for the charities. Uh, then we had some, you know, Vegas celebrities come through. The Backstreet Boys are playing. Uh, Paul Schaefer came in and played with us this year, which was awesome. I'm a big Letterman guy, so to hear those stories and to hear what Paul did with music and what he did for late night TV really changed that genre. Um, but I think maybe my favorite, Salt and Peppa, came in and played, and Kid and Play were their plus ones. And so to, to have Salt and Peppa and, and Kid and Play on my stage at one time, it was my 90s childhood was just coming back. That's surreal. <laughs> it, it was surreal. It was a weird, surreal moment. And there's some Veterans Weeks coming up. Um... What Easily my favorite week every year is Victories for Veterans. Um, it's you know, to give those that have served our country in the armed forces a chance to really win a million dollars and that's you know they don't play for charity they're playing for themselves so a chance to for them to win life-changing money is awesome and it's a real just celebratory week where we honor you know veterans we honor those that are still serving our country um, so it's a big week and it's it's i always love giving thanks to those and and kind of likewise teachers uh, we bring back a lot of teachers that are playing this year so it's fun it's fun to when you see those weeks and you get to give back is is great and I love trivia I love the game it's fun but at the end of the day you're also giving away life-changing money hence the 100 million dollar season and so it's it's great when you're in the middle of a game and you see it just kind of wash over the contestant and they're like this money is going to change my life and you stop as the host and and you're kind of brought to this moment you're like wow I, I kind of helped do that yeah, and I mean, after doing it for a few years now, I mean, does it get old, or how how do you get through the nerves of like right. you know, like if they're gonna make a mistake or something like that? You'd think it would get old, you know, shooting 175 episodes and you're cranking five or six out in a day and you're going through it and you're going through it. But every time somebody walks on that stage, that's their moment, that's their first time, and it's their only time to have this opportunity to win a million dollars. So it's huge for them, and you know, I think the way the audience is, we're in the round. It's like that you walk into this amphitheater, we have music going, they introduce the contestant. I get pumped up each and every time because this is your day and it's your, and so I wanna be there for them and take them on this journey. And it's funny, I don't get nervous for much, but when we get over $100,000, I start to get nervous because I wanna be perfect for them. I wanna you know, articulate and, and, and pronounce everything correctly and I want to not screw up this moment because they're on this ride. It's kinda like a pitcher who has a no hitter you don't want to go to that pitcher and screw anything up because then it's on you. So when we get to a hundred, two fifty, five hundred thousand dollars, I start to get nervous. I would too. Um, are there any 
can you reveal if there's any big, big winners coming up this season? We, I mean, look, we didn't give away $100 million over the last 17 years by not having big winners. So yeah, we do have some big winners. I can't say if we had the, the big, but I will say many times we're over that $100,000 mark. And it's, which is so fun for me. When you get to that, it's just awesome because then the game gets so real and so tense and the music changes and the lights change and that heartbeat. And it's just awesome. I, I relish those moments. And what is it like after the episode ends and you're alone with that contestant who's just won a bunch of money in their family? Is it just, it's gotta be amazing. The, one of two things happens when somebody wins a lot of money. One, they don't comprehend what just happened. And they're just, they're kind of going through the motions. We're taking pictures and they're like, and they're, they're, they're smiling, but I don't think they really know. Then there's those that it just hit them and it just sunk in. They'll look back at the graphic behind them and it says $250,000 or five, whatever it is. And like, oh my God, I just want a quarter of a million dollars. Because they were so into the game, they kind of forget. And then when it, they realize it and they see their wife or their dad or whoever behind them and they're crying and you realize you just changed this family's life. Well, best of luck with the, the season. Appreciate it. Amazing.